Go, Link, from here to over there. You'll find Ganon's lair. Come on, it's your destiny. Trust the cooling inside. But if you're terrified, get Platter McGee from the island. How's the new encampment coming? Duran has sent word. The rebuild is complete and he welcomes us to inspect the stronghold. Do you wish to do so now? Let's do just that. <laughs> hey everyone, Team UDF here for more Legend of Skyrim Parallel Moon Path to Elsewhere. Topol Sea at Denmark Forest. Joan and Joan smile brightly at the birth of New Elsewhere. That's right. That's right, son. Alright, today we inspect the new base and then continue. We might also have, finally, things, something, I don't know what I'm trying to say. We might also finally be able to finish up the slowed quest. <gasps> Doggy! Oh, <laughs> ah! What up? Hmm? Okay. May you walk on warm sand. That's true. Hello. If you told me I was not a cat, and I told you you were not bothering me, we would both be lying. Yeah. Trust the wadja inside. But if you're terrified, purchase the strategy guide from me. How's the rebuild gone? Really well, as the eye of Dovakin can see. It is a good place for hideout. If the Dovahkin wished to bring its home here, people of the main would be pleased. Oh my god. I like, seriously need an update for freaking the subtitles. That's just like bad. It's good to see New Elsewhere is getting along. Alkosh bless this Dovahkin. She has many thanks of the new Elsewhere. <laughs> okay, do you think the Thalmor will ever find this place? Hmm. Sure, the Talmor will have a hard time trying. There are thousands of tiny islands in the Topal Sea, and every last one of them has its own dirty story. Dirty story. How is it possible Kumon found a Thalmor of airships? Where the Thalmor have airships, the new Elsewhere has telepath navigated airships. Ah. Dovakin has noted some potential in Kulan, yes? yes? As a kitten, he was my apprentice. Hmm. Showed him how to fly some kind of magic. Joy is of lesser stature than Kulan. Joe can barely make some toads fly, yes? But Kulan, he is a giant, and he has talent. Joran is telling this to Dovakin. Kulan can make things fly. Mm. Is that good? Yes, Kulan is. He can make anything fly. Dovakin should go ask him about his first wife. <laughs> or better not. Oh boy. Can you teach me the language of Khajiit? Baba. Tagra is the name. What would the ears of Dovakin like to hear? Ah. Hmm. You mentioned a little thaw before. Many gods live in elsewhere. More than Khajiit, Dovakin. Riddlethar is the father of sugar. But Joe had more interest in Alkosh. So the he's dragon deity. He's the sugar the daddy. Oh time. no! Oh, I'll stop now. Worshiping a dragon, huh? In some sense, yes. In other sense, he's just a really big cat. He's a really big cat. And that is why Joram is Joe here. Hmm. All right. Well, we learned something. Uh, 
Are you also an annoying prick? Greetings. So many adventurers. So many arrows and knees. Because she does not know why he's so funny. Oh boy. Hello, you look tough. I used to be an adventurer like you. Then I found oh, the ball of yarn. And then I stopped adventuring. To this day, Khajiit does not know what is so appealing about that ball of yarn. Oh, two in a row. Two in a row. Okay. Let's check out the area down here. There only seems to be one person walking around. Whoop. Need something? Yep. Need I guess something. not. Alright. Well, that's the improvements to the base. Looks quite nice. Now, what's with this top step? Why is this zoomed back in? Oh, uh, come on. Come on. Freaking mouse pad. It's a shame there's no... Wait, maybe there is. Nah, okay. It's a shame there's no inside, but that's fine. This is still a very neat spot. Drops the frame rate a bit, but I'm also recording, so... Okay. Back inside the spoople. Come back here. You can't escape the spoople. Go back to Tenmar. Ah, yes. Home sweet home. It's a flying magic carpet. Yeah. He gets the joke. Why don't you people laugh now? Okay. okay, so is the only thing left going on that, uh, seems to be. Seems to be. 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 Okay. Let's go bring him this hyena meat and stoof. And stoof. Flying magic carpet. The wind it blows. So here I'm not making this uh, redundant trip. <laughs> Hurry, Zelos. We're going to be late for dinner. No, we're not, but... Get up now. Oops. Let's go ahead and check out what's over here. And find the flying magic carpet. Flying magic carpet. Oh my god. Yes, find the ingredients. Eridora will cook the poison to weaken Slord's magic. When the spell will break down, Silkskin will sniff out the plague carrier. Oh, that's what he's doing. Is it done? Yes, it's easy. Eridor is the best poison cook in all elsewhere. Feed this to the fat one, then find silk skin. No kill slot before the carrier is dead. Very well. Oh man. Uh, should be able to go this way. <laughs> Why you do this to me, Skyrim? Super Mario! Super Mario Sunshine. Let's, let's play that. Oh boy. I actually probably wouldn't mind that game, I just don't have it. I thought I did. I, I was like, really insistent that someone in this house had that game, but... I guess not, I don't know, whatever. Let's all play Ninja Gaiden instead. Woo! 
I've like ignored you for five days, but here's some stuff. I bring you delicacy. I can't hold my joy at your groveling servitude. Give me the meat and go now before I regurgitate. Return with new tastes quickly. Oh my god. Okay. It's the flying magic poison. These paths aren't even large enough for this thing to escape, so how does it intend to kill all- I don't know, whatever. Doesn't matter. Because we're a Dragon Ball. We Dragon Ball. Oh boy, Dragonborn. Dun dun dun! Ah, oh, Oblivion would have let you make that jump. Hello, the slowed is down for a while. There must be a plague carrier. Can you find it? Find it, yes. This Khajiit smelled it before you come here. It's near the mammoth skull. Go quick and take care of this corruption. Mammoth skull. Okay, kill the infected creature. It's a flying magic creature. Hello. Gee, you're glowing like evil. I think someone would have noticed this before. Nah, I guess not. Oh. You're like, jeez. Freaking got disintegrated or something. Holy crap. I don't trust that I'll be able to defeat this load, but we'll find out. We better have our wajahs ready. All the wajahs may be needed for this adventure. It's a flying magic waja. I'm angry born. Your time is up, you fat blackmailing slob. Yes, I sensed your betrayal. You think a bit of indigestion will stop me? We will see how you taste. We sure will. Oh, no, wow. Let's back off, see if we can fight these guys individually. Oh no, he's actually really good at following. That's not good. <laughs> I'm going to get the gas too. Wow. Haha! Cheating! Oh, can't cheat. Haha! Cheating! Haha! Cheat! Oh, okay. Here they come. I want to get rid of these guys. I don't know how much of a nuisance they'll be. Oh, they vaporize that. Well, that works. Ah. You're not hungry anymore. I will. So now he's Bowser. No, he's, he's not. Huh. Oh boy, that was the slowed. He couldn't keep up with his zellos because he was a little slowed. What did I tell you? I warned you about this episode one. Jokes only get worse when they start. 
Alright, let's finally report back. See what other stoof is going on, if any at all. I'm gonna to have to go around. Oh, wait, maybe not. No. Nah, come on, can I cheat this? Yes, let me cheat it. Woot! Yay! Because how dare I have to do any. Oh, crap, except I went around the long way. Waypoint marker screwed with me again. Oh, well. I'll meet you when I get back. Alright, we've returned to Flying Magic Carpet Land. The slow is dead and the disease carrier has been taken care of. Ah, the fat one becomes food for little forest dwellers. I will go and cleanse the elder gravesite now. Kashit ancestors do not like foul smells. I wouldn't think so. I wouldn't think so. Hmm. Is that it? Any more quests? Any more things to do? It's good to see you. We are happy to be your hosts. How can I help you? Uh, let's see. Okay, what are the moon pads? How about that? Well, you tell me. We've traveled on one. In short, they are the secret paths of the Khajiit caravans to use to move between the provinces. Ah. Are they magical? Magical? Ha. <laughs> of course, following the moons to one's destination is always deeply magical experience for a Khajiit. But sparkly magic? No. Oh, want sparkly. Thing you have no. Huh. What about you? Yep. Oh wait. Did we do this already? Ulan is looking into it. Mervar asked him to report to you at your pride rock. Oh yeah. Okay. All right. Perhaps yeah. Perhaps he is already waiting. I already did that. Okay. 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 Lots of potions of regen. Regeneration. Another guard, yeah, okay. Okay, let's go talk to the airship uh, captain or whatever. Let's see if there's anything else to do. I am going to start wrapping up, though, because, I don't know, it doesn't seem like there's much else to do here. We've kind of talked to everybody we've run into. Uh, really, the big selling point here, of course, is the graphics. You know, all these new jungle areas and everything. We also have the... The building oasis and the desert areas I also think are particularly impressive. The airship's fun to screw around in. And I guess it uh, inspired the creation of Deva Vesa, so now we've seen that. So I can see the enemies have really good design here. They're decently strong, but they're not they're not imbalanced by any means. I'm probably... I don't know if I'm a high or low level for this. I, I, I don't know anymore, because I don't do Alchemy or anything, so all my stuff is super weak. It's mainly why I was taking a step back to fight that slow. What the heck? Because I know I can't take many hits, actually, for some freaking reason. <laughs> That's okay. It's not. And again, like I said before, I'm really glad there was an actual and there was an actual story going on here. It even kind of had a, a finish, I suppose. But dang it! It's really nice to get. And there it's just like certain parts like this. I mean, look at this. That's a phenomenal view. Don't take my word for it. Download this mod and find out. You bet I'm going to recommend this one. This was a good one. Although I'm sure everyone watching has pretty much already found and played this mod because you've been yelling at me to do it since like April, I think. I don't know. Finally got around to it, though. Holy crap. Yeah. Beating back the Thalmor, finally. <laughs> Destroying the Thalmor is always a good thing. We even got to see some... I, I do enjoy all the bit of backstory we're seeing going on here. It hasn't really led anywhere, but at the same time, it's a nice touch. Yeah, there's nothing. Duran has sent word. The rebuild is okay. complete, and he welcomes us to inspect the strong. So I guess there's nothing else to do here. The armor's alright. I wish we could get some more custom stuff, uh, besides the armor, that is. But, you know, we have, like, the date, the... Not the Daedric Sword. What was it? 
It was... Oh, it was a Daedric store. Never mind. Yeah, so you can get some stuff. There's the ship, uh... Ship and everything. You know, I'm just gonna go back to the desert just for the heck of it. Okay, let's go. Let's go, son. We're gonna kill them all, partner. I'm John Wayne, pilgrims. Happy first Thanksgiving, pilgrims. Yeah, enemies had neat design. I'm sure this is based off a lot more Elder Scrolls lore than I know, but they were throwing around a lot of words. So I don't actually know how accurate it is. I couldn't tell you that, but it still is interesting to see all the the small details and twists putting in on the story. Well, not so much twists, but all the little details thrown in on the storyline here. And it's just... It was overall... It was fun. I don't know. At the very beginning there, I was kind of lost looking for people. They didn't have a map, but... At the very least, there were only so many places we could go. I thought that, like, we were going to access all the areas at once, so I'd be wandering around all of them blindly, looking for something, but in a way, the, the linearity of the areas here actually turned out to be quite, quite a good thing. So yeah, this mod has a lot of things working for it. I don't really think it has much working against it, I would just mainly try to fix all those freaking typos, at least try to make the subtitles match the dialogue. Because it doesn't really seem like any effort was put into that. And then again, the... <laughs> what was my other point? Oh, uh, see if you can... I don't know how this goes in modding, but see if you can make Elsewhere its own map or whatever, the jungles at least. Because, you know, it just... This doesn't help us at all when we're looking around for stuff. Granted, nothing too complicated is in here yet, but I'm assuming this mod might be expanded a bit more. It hasn't been updated in a while, but you never know. Mod creators might come back later on and say, Hey, you know, I want to do more with this. So let's go ahead and do more with it. So I suppose eventually if they have a much larger area. And then the other thing I liked is it wasn't... It wasn't like the other Elsewhere mod for Oblivion where we were, like, look just basically wandering around in oblivion in the desert. You know, this one had specific things. We weren't really uh, focusing on just traveling to cities and seeing stuff. You know, we had things we could actually sightsee for. We have backstory for the areas. Basically, we're doing important things. We're not just wandering in a new world for the sake of wandering in a new world. And that's really what I like about this mod. This mod really appealed to me. And yeah, it, it was quite fun, actually. I don't know. This one's going to be pretty high. I think this, I think I can give this like a straight 9 out of 10 or something. Might even go higher, depending on the numbers I crunch later on. But yeah, overall, I'd say probably an average of 9 out of 10. It was interesting to see all the new things, and I hope to see more done with this mod eventually. Story was good. Graphics are phenomenal. Oh, the voice acting even was pretty good. You know, there were a couple... A couple lines where I kind of thought, well, that sounds kind of shifty, but no, overall, the voice acting was fine, so good job to the voice actors on this one. I'm not even bothered by it. You could, like, kind of hear in the background. It, it, it had, like, that microphone feel. It didn't, it, the suspension of disbelief was kind of off, but you know what? They, they were fine. It, it didn't really bug me that much at all. So, you should go download Moonpath to Elsewhere today. And keep an eye on this mod in the future, see if you want some of the free stuff here, if you just want to interact with the Khajiits. Argonian Pirates, which was which was a blast, I still can't get over that. Uh, Argonian Pirates is a hilarious one. And, like I said, you get to beat up the Thalmor. But, I think that'll do it for here. Uh, you guys can go ahead and let me know if there's any more to do, and I'll, I'll try to record it a bit later. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and end this session. I have some other things to get to tonight. Got some grading to do and stuff, so... Again, thanks for watching. Go download Move Past the Elsewhere, and I'll see you next time for more Team UDF Skyrim mod reviews. Thanks for watching, everyone. Boy! Chicken pot pie in the desert!